Mixed Tiles had a pretty aggressive campaign over the holidays. Yeah, social media was lit up. I was one of the people that saw it and I bit the bullet. I um, made my order. In fact, I ordered quite a bit for a first time order. Usually I don't do that because I want to see what the product is. And then if I like it, I order more, but it's here. And this is how it's packaged when you get it. This is a box of 36. So when you open up the box, you have some paper here on top that will protect it because you know sometimes there's some shifting and that would mess up what's on the mixed tiles themselves as far as your photos now if you have a good eye you might see some damage on the right side of the box i will tell you about that but as you can see there's six tiles in here but wait there's more because it goes down so we have trays of tiles. It's not just the six you see on top. There's one, two, three, four, five, six trays. So six tiles on the top, six trays all together. So six times six equals 36 of these photos. And I will tell you, I was impressed. I think it looks pretty good. You know, I looked at the top when I first opened and I was like, wow, it's sharper than I thought. Um, you can see the material here is kind of like a foam. It's very, very lightweight. Feels like lifting a piece of paper. It's cardboard on the back. And um, I think they look good. You know, the foam material is light. So I don't think it's going to be too heavy because there's only one strip of tape on the back that holds these up. So I'm trying to let you see a little bit of the quality. This is a picture I took in Dubai in the desert. Um, here's another one. This is Tretch from Naughty by Nature during his wedding. That's uh, one of the photos that I shot. You can see that it's on the foam. It's mounted there and it looks good. You know, it looks like a really nice product for the price. I wasn't expecting it to be as nice as it is for the price. You are greeted with instructions on how to hang this when you get it with that one strip of tape that holds up your images again they're vibrant they're colorful they're sharp this is spike lee rest in peace danny aiello on to tray three I ended up with two of those. I ordered it twice, my fault. Iced tea with cocoa. F-A-B-O, fabulous. I <laughs> love that shot right there. Tray four. Some model shots, that's capital Q unique right there. Triple H was in there. We are up to tray five. Let me not bore you. I'll move a little bit faster. And tray six. So you can see this 36 all together. I will tell you about the customer service. This was blurry. My fault. I sent the blurry image. Contact the customer service. Customer service contacted me the same day and even on a Sunday this one was damaged not the fault of the manufacturer mixed tiles however it was part of the reason of I was uh, pointing out the box earlier to let you kind of put that in the back of your mind so the damage on the right side of the box caused damage to what was inside rest in peace Fife that's Fife and Charlie Brown um but that one got damaged as well, a little crushed, not horrible, but the box was damaged and it damaged what was inside. And these are my doubles. So again, I contacted customer service. They contacted me back immediately, multiple times. I mean, they were really accessible and I, I loved it. They took care of me as a customer. They made sure that uh, they sent me another box, as you can see. 
I was supposed to get six. I forgot to order two more, so I got four. Um, they compensated me for these four uh, because of the, the ones that were damaged. They said, hey, you know, not our fault. They knew it wasn't their fault, but they still made good on their customer service. So I decided to get some different images. So here we have Slick Rick. Little Snoop Doggy Dog going on right here. Love that image as well. And remember, these are replacements. You know, they saw that there was damage and they replaced it. Here's Chuck D and Flavor Flav, a public enemy. Now, this is the contraption that I was using to space out the tiles on the wall. Listen, I'm not an engineer. <laughs> I'm horrible in math. But I measured the wall. I figured out spacing and I wanted them placed on the wall two inches apart and I also wanted to make sure that I had them level so this is in my non-engineer math illiterate mind this is how I made it happen so this ended up being the first tile and I figured once I get the first tile up every other tile will be easy and it actually did end up that way so as you can see the product sticks on pretty easily one strip of tape and that's it you simply pull off the white paper yeah simply you got it dread all right and under it is the adhesive strip you line it up on the wall you see my very fancy mechanism i have here with my sticky <laughs> notes and my level on top yeah get that on there and that's it. It's really that simple. So I just continued the same process until I had enough on the wall that I actually ended up started using the other ones as guides to help me. But as you can see, it's not hard. I think the hardest part of this process is actually figuring out where you want to put them and the uh, design, you know, because you can put them straight across, you can have them diagonal, you can put them in a circle. I mean, you're limited only by your imagination. So let's speed up the video a little bit, just so you can see the configuration that I decided on. I decided on just having straight rows across and columns going down. Uh, this configuration I did six across and three going down. So again, I used a <laughs> very scientific method you see me moving that half now, sticky tape across, and that's what I use for spacing. I enjoyed uh, what I saw, so I decided to go across to another wall. I have an adjacent wall, and I ended up doing configuration of four across and three down. Final product. Please comment below and let me know what you think. Here you see the design all together. These are both walls with all the photos up. I think it looks pretty good. It gives some life to a wall that pretty much wasn't doing anything creatively or uh, artistically. So now there's something on it that looks good in my opinion. Let's look at some details. So here you can see the pictures look pretty good. There's RZA and Il Bill. We have a model here. A lovely, lovely family. They're so beautiful. This group here is called the Odyssey. Had the pleasure of shooting a music video with them and Chuck D. Here again, we have Fife Dog, rest in peace. Charlie Brown from Leaders of the New School. Photos look really good. I'm impressed. I'm happy with the product. Definitely is a recommend. The uh, photo you have here is Q Unique. You see Triple H next to him. So yeah, it's another wall. I put up more photos on another wall that you can see here leads into my studio, which is my creative space. And this whole uh, space that I decided to put this in is how it made sense to me, right? Because all these photos are photos that I took with the exception of one, which is the spread love photo. It's my creativity and my workspace is right beyond where you see this. So these are all creative shots that are leading to my creative space. So it made sense for these photos to be here to me. Spread love, speak up and stand together. 
I think this is a great mantra for the time that we're living in now. Can we do this? Peace. Like